Capricorn, welcome to this Just In Time Tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Capricorn, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with the energy is gaining momentum. So it feels like things are, are building, things are moving forward. Maybe there is a new life or new energy, uh, you know, entering into your situation. Maybe things are gathering momentum towards some kind of outcome here, Capricorn. Let's take this further, jumping into the Oracle of the Angels now. And Capricorn, we have, oh, growing. Okay, so things are building, things are growing, things are building momentum. Okay, now uh, this energy here shows something blooming, something flourishing. So maybe you're about to see the fruits of your labor, or you're about to get some kind of result or outcome. Things are really growing in a positive direction, it seems here, Capricorn. Maybe you are getting some growth, some self-growth as well here. Let's go to the full tarot deck. This one is the Accurate AF Tarot, which is a beautiful round tarot deck, which I'm loving using. Oh, one more shuffle they're saying. Okay. First card out. We have got Temperance. Beautiful. Okay, Sagittarian energy coming through. Now, Temperance talks about things coming into, you know, balance, things kind of evening up here. Now, for me, it's also a bit of a divine sweet spot energy where the conditions are just right for the blooming, right? It could be, you know, the right people, the right time, the right place, the right resources. Things are coming together. Maybe after a period of having patience while things were gaining momentum or building just because you haven't seen the result now doesn't mean to say you know those blooms aren't about to appear you know they happen quickly so temperance you've got a divine hand working in your life something's coming into balance we've got the divine sweet spot here and the world wow okay so that is the last major arcana and it says achievement and fulfillment you're finally getting to the end of the cycle here, right? Maybe a cycle of hard work and you've arrived. This is a victory card. So we have a really long-term sustained process here. And finally, you're getting that result. You're getting that outcome. You're getting the fulfillment of what you set out to achieve. You've been patient and now things are lining up, Capricorn. It's a gorgeous energy. And I've got the Seven of Wands, but it hasn't been without its battles, right? You know, you've had persistence, you've had conviction, you've had courage, and you have pushed through. And if there is still a little bit more of a push to go, this is a keep going energy. You've got the higher ground, and it feels like there is some kind of win that is coming in for you. So Seven of Wands says keep going, keep pushing. Things are going in the right direction. And it's our second number seven, seven of pentacles. Now, um, this is the energy of investment and diligence. I just feel like you've worked so hard towards something. This could be a financial goal or, you know, a really long-term goal like saving for a house deposit or building a business or, you know, really working towards something like a relocation. And finally, it's like everything's lining up, the timing, the opportunity, the funds are there. You know, and it's because of this kind of diligent hard work and planning that you really have uh, been going through. So I feel like everything's about to kind of slot into place. What is that one that's jumping? It's the Ten of Wands. Yeah, the hard work period is almost over and soon there'll be a sigh of relief, right? You've, you know, done all the work here. You've carried the responsibility. You've carried the weight of this. And I, I get this kind of sense that the foundation is in place and now... You can almost sit back and and watch things bloom, right? Finally, you've got this kind of garden in place and things are going to grow and things are going to flourish. Okay, I've got the Queen of Pentacles here, which is interesting because she really links to uh, house, home, real estate, money, abundance, business. And it's the energy of Capricorn. So this is your card here, Capricorn. So it's through that grounded perseverance that things are really you know, taking shape and you've focused and you've kept on working. And I just think that soon there's going to be this energy of balance or, you know, work-life balance that comes back into your life. 
So that is your energy and it just feels like you're coming to power and you're achieving what you set out to achieve. And I've got the Queen of Wands, which is an Aries energy of determination. Keep going, keep going in that new direction. And I feel like there's going to be a recovery of your energy as well, Capricorn. You've probably been working really hard over a sustained period of time and you've made a lot of sacrifices. And the Ten of Wands would indicate that maybe you are getting quite tired or you're sort of burning out. But remember, the energy of the results is gaining momentum. So there's a bit more in the tank, you know, have a bit more energy in the tank to go. But it is really coming. Page of Pentacles is here. And I always say that the pages are setting us up for the ace of the same suit. Meaning you're almost at the ace of Pentacles, which would be the solid beginning that you've been working towards. Buying the home, relocating. Uh, winning that dream contract, getting that first win, you know, that's what we get here that is coming in very soon. And I've got this very long term, sustained, resilient, patient, hard working phase that is almost at completion, right? The world, huge victory card where things just flourish all of a sudden, you're in full summer. And you're really seeing the results of your hard work. So it is coming. The energy is gaining momentum, Capricorn. Keep going. Keep pushing. Because very soon it is going to be roses for you, literally. So I will leave it there, Capricorn. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, please do follow the first link down below to my website. And you can check out what I'm offering over there. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment. Please do subscribe on your way out, Capricorn. It really makes a difference in these readings coming, um, you know, and keeps the studio lights on, all that jazz. So I'd be very grateful. And I will see you back here in a couple of days' time for your weekly tarot reading. Do take care, Capricorn. Bye for now.